Hey guys, MC Stu here, and today we're going to take a look at the winter event that has just started. Uh, we're going to look at how to get there if you're brand new and this is your first time, and how to do the main event for the ship, and how to collect uh, ornaments the most efficient way. Um, so I won't be going through all the different prizes, we'll probably save that for another different video. Um, yeah, I guess prizes probably isn't the best word for it. Uh, the rewards that you can purchase out of the uh, winter event store. Um, but we'll be looking at how to get the currencies, which are the ornaments, in order to be able to buy whatever you want. I still have ornaments left over from last year. Could still purchase things from the store all the way up till now using this method. Pretty straightforward. But um, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, so I'm wearing actually the Breen suit. This is one thing that you can get out of the store. Um, there's quite a few different... Um, you know, uh, themed items. So this is a snowball gun, uh, a lot of snowball action happening in the winter wonderland um, that you'll need um, to do some of the mini events that they have going on in there. Um, but pretty cool looking stuff over overall that you can get out of it. Uh, there's some very useful stuff that you can get. Um, bridge officer abilities, uh, kit modules. They added a new Breen armor set. Um, I haven't even fully looked at it yet that you can get. This is just a visual unlock. Uh, that they added last year um, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we get there so you can trans warp from pretty much anywhere in the galaxy going to your event tab winter event pretty much like a lot of the other events there and we could trans warp directly to it if you go to any of the uh, main uh, social zones for your faction there will be a queue floating there and you can go and talk to him so let's go ahead and do that here um, he's got jokes. He'll turn you into different things, and um, you can run around as different kinds of creatures and things like that. So you'll see people doing that, and uh, it's a little bit of fun. All right, let's go ahead and get into the Winter Wonderland. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to load in. Okay, so we are at the Q's Winter Wonderland. You'll want to come over and talk to Q. Um, if you have a new character, um, you'll go through and answer some of these questions, go through, and he'll give you an ornament. And what that does is that unlocks the Winter Event Store. So any new character that you have rolled uh, this year, or if you've never participated in the event, you'll need to talk to him. Um, any of your new characters like the temporal uh, character that we got from the event or the Klingon character we got from the event uh, this year, you'll want to make sure you bring those in. So any new character you've rolled this year, bring them in, talk to uh, Q so that you have access to the store. Let's go ahead and take a look at just where the store is here and event store. Uh, so we have summer, winter. This is how you access the store. There's a lot of items in here. A lot of this stuff is cosmetic, unlocks, jackets, things like that. Um, you can get into um, space gear uh, and then also gear for the event itself. And like I said, they've added quite a few things over the past few years and this year here. So um, we'll take a look at how to get these ornaments and everything in just a moment here. Uh, before we jump in, I just want to say thank you to everyone that subs to the channel, leaves comments, gives me the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Um, you guys really help the channel out quite a bit, and we've grown quite a bit this year, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. Uh, definitely check out the Discord uh, if you're in need of help, have questions, or just want to hang out. Uh, the link will be down in the description. Everybody is welcomed. Uh, I will be running a giveaway starting uh, most likely tomorrow in there, um, and that is probably going to be a code for two Tier 6 ships. I'm not sure which ones those are going to be yet, um, so check out the Discord, check out the giveaway tab. That will be up uh, tomorrow, uh, no later than tomorrow the 8th, so this video should be going up um, sometime on the 7th. So on the 8th, that will be there. Definitely go check it out, guys. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the video here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our daily for the ship. So we've come to Q's Winter Wonderland. We've talked to him. If you have a new character to make sure you've unlocked this. And what we're going to do is this guy standing right here. He's the event coordinator for that. And we want to go ahead and accept this. This is the event daily that you'll need to do for the ship. So we've done that. And just so we're clear, we beamed in, kind of looking at Q. We went and talked to that guy. And then the stairs directly behind us. We're going to go down it. And we're going to come over to the start here. And it's pretty busy, so we'll probably have to kind of wait in line for it to pop up. So it'll, it'll pop up here down on the bottom. Other people are waiting to go. So there we go. 
All right, so it rooted us. It's going to put us on the track. I have a little spider. Well, I don't know whose is mine. Okay, so the little dog looking thing. Um, so I just need to beat him around the course, okay? So I'm just running kind of regular speed on straightaways. You could sprint. Uh, the faster you go, the more you're going to kind of slide. Uh, if you need to stop, you can roll, and that'll bring you right out of the slide. So a lot of people just kind of sprint and roll, and then sprint and roll. You can also jump. will take you out of the slide as well. If you go outside of these um, little lanterns on the edge, um, it'll disqualify you, and you'll have to run back and start it over again. Uh, so it's not too bad. I mean, you can, you can beat your you know your whatever the animal is or sometimes it's the marine officer you can you can beat them in just with a steady run like this without sprinting um so you could do it like that just to kind of practice and as you get more comfortable and you have like straightaways coming up and then you could start to um you know use your sprint in your role so i generally try and sprint and then i'll use my slide to kind of get me pointing in the right direction and then i'll roll and then i'll take off sprinting again is what i'll do Sometimes you get a little weird double roll. Whoop, whoop, I went out. Hopefully that doesn't disqualify me. It doesn't look like it did. And we're catching up with the next person. No, it wasn't that rusty. There is an overall time. Is there a time gate on this? There's not, you just have to beat. So the time gate is the uh, animal that you're, you're racing. Now, if you don't engage with the snowmen, I don't think they'll attack you. If you do, um, then they will. So there is, uh, um, no, before I get sidetracked, so that is the race. Once you finish the race, we're going to want to come up and turn that mission back in. And that will be one go for our daily event to get the event ship. So accept and exit. So now if we go and look at... Our event tab will have one progress point. So it's that easy. You can do it every 20 hours. Um, just come in and run through that. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other things that you can get and do. I'm not going to go through all the different events and things like that. Just kind of a brief overview. My main goal of this is to show you the ice race for the ship and then to show you how to get as many ornaments as possible, as easy as possible, so you can purchase things out of the store. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to go about getting these ornaments. You can participate in the different events that are going on around the map, and I encourage you to do that. They're quite a bit of fun, um, and you'll have a list of them. Winter events up here at the top, and your map will show you where those are happening. Uh, so it looks like we're just in between events right now. Let's see if I zoom out some. Yeah, it looks like we're just in between. So some of them randomly kind of spawn around the map, depending on, on what's happening. Um, some of them have event coordinators that'll be there um, where you show up to the area, you'll talk to the person, and then you can engage in the event. Others, you'll just start participating like when snowmen attack, you just start shooting them and you're in. And those, by participating in that, it'll reward you different kinds of ornaments. Uh, so let's take a look at that. All right. So there, there's quite a few different kinds of ornaments here. Uh, we have earmuffs, candles, um, Taryn Holiday, um, Taryn Holiday Ornament. Okay, so that's not two. Uh, Vulcan Incense. We have bells. We have beads. Um, so there's quite a, a few different kinds, and the different items here are going to require uh, different combinations of those uh, amounts of different ones there. So this is all um cosmetic stuff here if we go down say into like the new breen sets that's going to be 15 uh let's see what do we got we're gonna have 15 earmuffs candles holiday ornaments and incense um so and there is four pieces to this set so you're gonna need 60 of each of those that's gonna take quite a while of playing games around the map in order for you to just get enough for that now, over the you know 30 some odd days that the event goes, uh, you shouldn't have much of a problem getting that much. But what if you want other stuff? What if you want to, you know, there's vanity shields and things like that. What if you want to maybe you don't know what you want, you know, and you might want stuff later on or there's, you know, I'll roll a new tune and I need some of the bridge officer abilities that are in there uh, that I use on pretty much everything. So um, the 
the best way to grind this out, and you can, this turns it into not a grind. So you can come here, do this, and then go play some of the events, have fun with your friends or, or, or whatever, and enjoy the events without having to feel like you're just having to grind all of these out to get the ornaments. And that's duty officer missions. Um, so let's go ahead and open that up. So if we go to duty officer missions, so right now I have one uh, for the event, and it's easy to tell which ones are which. You can read it, and it'll also have like you know ham or presents or whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to run that, and let's check our personal tab. There is nothing in our personal tab. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch characters, and we're gonna bring another character here. In fact, I'm gonna park all of my characters here. And I'm going to run duty officer missions on all of them. So let's go ahead and switch to another one and take a look at that. Okay, so here we have a new character that has not participated in the event before. The moment I showed up here, Q is talking to me. Uh, we're going to say back. Um, he's welcoming me here. And we're going to go ahead and click the top one and click continue. And that's going to give us our first free ornament. And it unlocks the event store for this new character. So make sure you do that with all of your new characters. Uh, let's take a look at his duty officer mission. So here's his duty officer miss missions, and you'll see there's quite a few. So it's kind of randomized uh, for your different um, characters. Once the one that or the two that are going on my other two characters have finished, I'll have more available under um, the current map tab of duty officer missions. And you'll want to go through and just farm these. OK, now you could, you know, time it all out. And, you know, as soon as, you know, in four hours, do it again. I, I got to go to work. So I just once a day. Uh, when I log in, I'll run my my race. I'll go through however many um, tunes that I bring here. I have quite a few that I don't play in stuff where I could farm a whole bunch. I just don't need tons of this, so I'm probably not going to bring them all, but I will bring like four or five. Um, and they'll just you know be parked here. As you start to accumulate them, if you come to the middle, here's where the bank and exchange access is is all right here so you can talk to this little mini queue and you have access to all of that so i'll start unloading um, those into my my bank so i can accumulate them all in one slot or one spot and then i have a particular character that just holds this stuff for me year round so pretty straightforward pretty easy by doing that um, within days you'll have enough to start buying pretty much anything you want by the end of the event if you're doing this you know at least you know every other day or you know anything more than that you're going to have more ornaments than you know what to do with and you'll be able to just buy any of the stuff that you want um any of the cool gear they got because I, I know when i first you know the first couple times i played this event i'm running all over the map i'm spending hours here just to get you know one of the cool looking snowball guns and then I find, you know, man, there's there's other stuff in here I want. I want this jacket or I want, you know, X, Y, and Z. And it it is just a massive, massive grind if you're not using the duty officer missions. And, um, you know, especially this event, I feel like this event is kind of a bummer if you have to make it make it a grind because it, it's fun to come in here with your friends or by yourself and participate in the events and all those kinds of things. And um, it's a real bummer if it starts to feel like, man, this, you know, I got to go in and snowball fight, right? I mean, nobody should be upset about snowball fighting or assimilated snowmen, <laughs> you know? Um, so with the duty officer missions, it doesn't have to be like that. And so come in, bring in a couple tunes or all your tunes and um, park them all here. Once a day, come in, do the race, run your duty officer missions on this, and you'll have more than enough of the ornaments and you'll be able to just play the winter wonderland um, at your leisure um, in a way that makes you happy instead of having to just grind through all the different events that are coming up and up and up um, all right well i think that takes care of it guys um, we'll probably do a follow-up video on some of the stuff that's good in the store at least good to me a lot of it is um you know what i think is not going to matter Mo most of it is aesthetic a lot of it is aesthetic um so you know you, you can pick whatever you want and again using the duty officer method for this you know check it out see what you want there are quite a few other little things in here um epos i, I, I think they're epos are a little um they look like epos that you tag on new romulus that get big or a mixture of the uh orion cat i don't know what the hell it is but there there's a breeder around here um you can uh, get to the event storage if i talking to this ferengi there's a whole bunch of stuff around this map so definitely come in check it out explore and i think you'll have a lot of fun all right guys uh until next time thank you very much for watching stay safe and have a good one